These are Russian pictures of Lublin, the Polish city which has suffered the horrors of Nazi terrorism at its worst. The tanks and self-propelled artillery of the liberating Red Army thunder into the streets and fire upon the retreating enemy as the shackles which have bound Lublin for so long are broken. Standing as a grim indictment of the Nazis and the stark brutality of the Nazi way of life, the tragedy of Lublin is almost unbelievable. Lublin Castle they converted to a ghastly prison. Scenes of unparalleled sadism and bestiality were enacted within its ancient walls. This was a prison workshop. When the Soviet troops reached the city, the Gestapo mowed down the prisoners as they slaved at their benches shot them cold-bloodedly from behind. Relatives and loved ones weep for the victims in the courtyard strewn with more bodies of machine-gunned prisoners. Seven hundred innocent victims foully murdered, but two remained alive to tell the details of this monstrous crime. They were found hidden beneath a pile of corpses. Here, by the walls of Lublin Castle, the whole population gathers together to attend the funeral service given for those who died, but must never be forgotten. The Polish people will not readily forget or forgive those who shot, starved, gassed and burned to death hundreds of thousands of people whose only wish was to live in peace. Yet this cannot be entirely a day of sadness, for it is also the day of liberation. The Soviet tanks roll through the streets, lined with people to whom happiness must be a strange experience. Into the city too marched detachments of Lublin guerrillas. Soldiers who never cease to fight for freedom. But after the cheers have died from the streets, the people will remember. It will be well for us to remember too. The name of Lublin must be scored deep in the minds of all civilized people. Mm -hmm.